talk about the excitement of blockchain and some projects that you are working on at Europe Point, including the Finance Cloud, which is here in front of us. Yeah. So Mattis, can you uh, summarize for us um, why this is such an innovative product and how it helps uh, the industries out there today? The Finance Cloud bridges the gaps between blockchains. So you can, for example, make your smart contracts between coins because we did put features not into blockchains but into a protocol which we call the Finance Cloud API. And this little device is just a helper for the user to get access to this API via a user interface or via an artificial intelligent voice assistant like Alexa, for example. Okay, very good, and I know that it's it's quite easy for people to use this. They don't even have to really understand blockchain. Can you explain how this makes life easy for people that uh, tap into the system? Yeah, you plug, plug this device in your home network and you have just a dashboard where you can use the App Store like you are used from your phone. You can add your financial services you like. This starts with trading automation, wallets, smart contracting, and for more advanced or for merchants, point of sale systems. It's really a universal device to access cryptocurrencies without having to crawl through the web and find out who is legged, who is not legged, uh, but to be in a secure environment. Very good, very good, Matthias. And, and I know you're really excited about blockchain. I heard you on a panel earlier. First of all, tell me how you got involved in the blockchain industry and why it excites you so much. <laughs> I got into blockchain because my little brother asked me to repay money he, he uh, lent to me during the holidays in Bitcoin. And I knew my small brother is an intelligent guy, so I looked into it. I was so excited after half a year, I got into the scam named Eurocoin. The scam crashed and was dead for half a year. That time I was uh, active with the European Union to work on regulations and things like this. And uh, I thought this would be a good vehicle to implement some of my ideas into the European Union and to foster decentralization of powers inside of the society. Yeah. And so I took over this coin and rebooted it and built this around it. Super interesting. And, and speaking of regulation, can you give us a bit of a summary when it in the European Union and the different governments in Europe? What is their reaction to blockchain? How do they what do they think of it? Yeah, you can you can first of all you have to divide the European Union in two parties because there is the government itself and there's a central bank and they are uh, completely opposite uh, opinions about this whole thing yeah and the government um, this makes the government often react in a, an unpredictable and unclear way because they are afraid to say something wrong which the central bank doesn't like they are in the deep of the heart much more open to cryptocurrencies than uh, they can say there are many many projects to adopt cryptocurrencies for government needs in a good way. So this is the part that works quite good. Regulations still, yeah. <laughs> Regulations, no. Okay, well, Matthias, thank you very much for sharing your expertise with us today and uh, best of luck with your venture.